Hey guys, welcome back to Back to School Week here on my channel. Every day this week we are chatting something back to school, homeschool rooms, school supply halls, schedules, everything else in between. And every single video this week has a giveaway from a homeschool mom owned business. So today is no different. Today, before I share my homeschool supply haul, I'm going to go ahead and tell you about the giveaway. Today's Back to Homeschool Week giveaway is from my own personal Usborne Books and More business. So today I'm going to offer three of you $50 in books of choice from my website. So I'm going to link my website down below and all the info to enter this is in the description box down below as well. I'm just giving you a quick overview of some of our favorite books. We love the Lift the Flat books for preschool. We also love the Lift the Flat books for older kids in our home. So many great nonfiction books, so many wonderful classic fiction books that are just beautifully illustrated, some great early readers, amazing workbooks that we've used in our homeschool, and some fun puzzles and anything else in between. We absolutely love Osborne Books and More. I've worked for them for three years now and it has been an immense blessing to our family both um, as a consultant on the business side of things. It's brought in a wonderful supplemental income in our home, but also the books. The books have been so wonderful for our homeschool. Our shelves are filled with these books and my kids choose them more often than any other book that we have in our home. They're, they're gorgeous, they're fun, they're inviting, and they have just been such a wonderful thing for us to have in our homeschool. So make sure you check out the link in the description box down below for today's giveaway. Good luck, you guys. Okay, so just a disclaimer, uh, homeschool supply halls are a little different than school supply halls. There are no backpacks or lunch boxes happening here today. And there are things like teacups, and sensory bin activities. So it's a little bit of everything in my back to school supply haul today. So just a heads up, uh, it's gonna be interesting. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and just go by store instead of by like item. And I'm going to start with Amazon. So it's a little bit of stuff for the kids, a little bit of stuff for me. It's a lot going on here. So first things first from Amazon, I got each of the kids a math or logic game from Logic Roots. So um, I love these games. These are collaborative games. And let's see here, which ones do I have here? I have, okay, I'm gonna open this box. For Big Catch and Pet Me. So let's see, Big Catch Division to Your Rescue. So this must be the one I got for Bella. And then I also have Pet Me, which is a just seven up two to four players. This one is division is now as easy as a walk in the park. So this is, maybe that one's for Jesse. Oh yeah, so this one is long division with one digit numbers, division with remainder and division as repeated subtraction. This is ages 10 and up. This is the one I got for Bella. This one is division Facts for one digit numbers, division of one digit numbers without a remainder, division of two digit, two digit numbers without a remainder, and multiplication facts up to 10. So this one is multiplication and division. This is the one I got for Jess. And then I got Ocean Raiders and Cloud Hoppers. So Cloud Hoppers is subtraction adventure with aliens, and Ocean Raiders is this must be addition because I got this one for Annabeth. So number recognition, number sequencing, addition of one digit numbers and two digit numbers. So I thought that she would, this would be great for her. So there's something for everyone and this is going to be like a little treat for them on the, back, the first day of school sitting at their spot at the table. Because this year we didn't get like new notebooks or anything like that. Last year I put out new and advanced notebooks for them. Uh, they had narration notebooks and um, nature notebooks, but we only used half of the book last year, so we're gonna reuse those again this year. So I wanted to give them each something kind of new on the first day of school, because like I said, there's no new backpacks, there's no new lunch boxes, nothing like 
you know, nothing like fun and cool like that, fun for them on the first day, so I got those games. Next, I got, I got Annie um, a big book of gigantic coloring Bible stories. She loves to color. She actually had her four year well visit at the doctor today and the doctor was like, what do you love about, about homeschool? And she said, I love to color. And I'm like, oh, that's so sweet because she does, she loves to color. So I got her that um, just to have something quick to give her. I also got these jumbo eyedroppers from Learning Resources. We are in a Charlotte Mason co-op and every meeting, one of us moms who has a preschool age child is bringing some sensory play or just activities for the preschoolers. And so I got some sensory stuff. I've been, I'm going to be doing more sensory stuff with Annie and Eli this year. Eli still likes it. And I don't know why I kind of looked past that when he started kindergarten and first grade. So he's going into second grade. He can still do sensory play. I mean, I still like it. So whatever. Um, but I did invest in a couple of like group sensory items. So I got these jumbo eyedroppers. I also got these candy scoopers. So I really like the, and they're in my Amazon store, which I, is linked down below. I really like the learning resources, sensory tools, but I didn't want to buy multiple packs of those because those can be difficult depending on the age of the child. But without a doubt, these um, scoopers are the favorite. And so they had a pack of just four of these different scoopers. So I got those as well. Um, what else did I get for group sensory play? I got, here it is, uh, I got water beads. I've had this brand water beads before and you know, you don't need that many of them. Um, so this is like quite a few sensory bins worth in here because they get larger. Um, you know, when you soak them in water. And then I actually got this uh, more so for our own personal sensory play because I don't want any moms to like feel bad if their kids accidentally color on them or something. Um, but these are just some wooden sensory toys. So um, here. And I wasn't necessarily loyal to this brand or anything. I will link these in the Amazon store, but there were tons of wooden sensory toys in that um, when I just looked it up on Amazon. And so I thought that these would be great for like the rice beans, pasta kind of play, not necessarily the water beads, but sensory play in our co-op is gonna be happening while the elementary school kids are doing art. And so there will be like markers and things out, which is why I said those wooden toys specifically. Um, I mean, I don't mind, things are, you know, uh, kids can use whatever. When they come to my house, when we go places, we share snacks, I don't care. But I don't want any moms to like feel bad if their toddler like dunks it in paint or something because inevitably it's gonna happen and then somebody's gonna feel bad. So that is just for our own personal use. Um, speaking of co op -y type of settings, this next thing I got from Amazon is a back to school supply in my mind, but it's for me. Um, I love decorating my coffee bar and so I got these pretty floral coffee cups. Uh, as most of you know, if you are not new here, we have a lot of um, homeschool that happens here at our house with friends. So I have history uh, here every other week and then I also do a nature co-op with a friend every other week on those other weeks. And so I love to have a fully stocked coffee bar and tea bar and I really like having those pretty to-go cups. So that was just a little teacher's treat for me. <laughs> um, also from Amazon, I got my younger two kids some watercolors. My older two use uh, they all have their own watercolors, nicer sets of watercolors, but my younger two, I'm graduating them up from the Crayola like eight color pack into these watercolor cakes. And so I got them these. But instead of giving them each their own, I'm probably gonna have them share and then bring this one out halfway through the year. Um, I also got some more um, label tape for my label maker. I have the uh, embossing label maker and it's it doesn't require batteries or anything like that and we use it quite a bit, especially in our planners. So I got some more tape for that. And then the last couple of things from Amazon here, this is very new, a new thing for me. I haven't done anything like this in years, but I got this treasure chest and I have a kid who is very motivated by rewards. And so I decided, that I would go ahead and just play to that a little bit. I usually don't, I, but no matter how hard I kind of fight that mentality, I see it more as an opportunity to redirect than to just bribe. And so I'm going to um, do some fun 
treasure chest type of stuff this year. Plus, again, tons of co-ops. Like we have our Charlotte Mason co-op and that history group and the nature group. So it could be a fun resource to have on hand. So to put in that, I got these um, 12 variety slime, this 12 variety slime kit from Play-Doh to put in there and then you'll see when i do my target haul i've got a bunch of stuff to go in there as well and then i also got these um pencil grips these are my favorite um they're really good i have one kid who struggles with pencil grip in general and then one who's going to be using a pencil for the first time this year so uh, these grips are wonderful because it holds their uh, pointer finger and their thumb right there and it teaches them how to naturally grip the pencil i don't know if you can tell your fingers just fit perfectly into that pocket so it's great. Um, so I got some more of those because as with pencils, pencil grips go missing often as well. Okay, I'm gonna move on to Target. Okay, Target is where I got more of the school supply -y supplies, <laughs> normal school supplies. So this year we are using good old fashioned pencil cases again. You guys know we go back and forth this every year. I thought it would be good for the kids to have their own and we also have bulk supplies that we use all the time as well. But this year, I, my friend, the Intentionalish Mama, if you don't follow her on, on YouTube, I will link her up here. She's also on Instagram. And she has, um, each of her kids use one of those three tiered cards. And this year I decided to use that for their curriculum. And so at the top, they're gonna keep their school supplies and planners and stuff. So I thought it'd be good for them to each have one of these. So I got gray for Eli. I got purple for Jesse. That's his favorite color. I got uh, teal for Isabella. And then I got pink for Annie. Um, to go in there, I also got everybody a set of markers. So there's four of these. It's always a good time to refresh the school supplies this time of year. Not that we always necessarily need new sets, but the rest of the stuff will just turn into our bulk supplies. I got a set of crayons for everyone. I also got additional crayons to refresh our bulk supplies as well. And apparently I got a lot more than I realized. Okay. Oh, and there's more. <laughs> these were like 50 cents, I think. And then um, I also got everybody these um, fine line Crayola markers as well. We are always needing as many scissors as possible, especially when we have a lot of people over. So I went ahead and got more scissors for everyone this year. All of these colors match the pencil boxes I got for them. And then I just went ahead and grabbed a bunch of sharpened pencils. And this is one that I don't think I've ever had in my school supply list before, but I got everybody a ruler because my kids, mostly for drawing, they like to draw comic books. So they always need a ruler for that straight edge. But sometimes Eli needs it for math. My older two don't usually use it for math very often, but I just, they were 25 cents. So I got everybody a ruler as well. Last few things here from Target. Colored pencils for everyone. I actually just did this all as an order pickup instead of going in the store because I knew that walking into the school supply section I was gonna overbuy and I had already gotten a bunch of stuff on Amazon and so I was like I don't need anything else I also got Annie the my first pencils those really nice chunky pencils for her she's gonna be doing some little handwriting stuff for fun this year and then everybody in my house loves themselves a Hot Wheel so I got some Hot Wheels to add to that treasure box. Don't ask me yet how I plan to utilize that treasure box. I uh, haven't made a plan yet. I just thought, hey, that'd be fun. And so I added it to my order and then I got just a couple things I know they would really enjoy. I'm not sure what I'm gonna reward with it, but just knowing that we have that, I think is going to ease tension for one of my kids. All right, we're finishing up with Walmart. Publix and Salvation Army, so stick with me. Walmart, I got a bunch of sensory bin supplies. So I got tons of elbow macaroni. I got some bulk flour, some baby oil for that. I'm gonna add essential oil to it as well. And then pinto beans. Now, like I said, these are not just for our house. These are for also our co-op. And then, um, from Publix. Publix had their tea BOGO, so I stocked up on some of my kids' favorite teas for poetry tea time. So I got this uh, fruit tea sampler. They really like these. I also got the herbal tea sampler. 
And then I have the cinnamon apple spice tea. We're gonna have like an apple tea time, an apple back to school tea time. So I got that. And then country peach passion tea. And we also have a tea drawer that's fully stocked, but I thought it would be fun to stock up on some of their favorites. And then, um, oh, speaking of tea time and peace and calming things, <laughs> I got two uh, peace and calming oils. These are going to be for the sole purpose of our quiet time. I guess my camera has decided, there it is. Um, I'm gonna keep these by the diffusers in their room for quiet time. Peace and calming oil is really one of my top tools <laughs> for our quiet time in our house and when we do read aloud or poetry tea time, they're just, it's a scent that I use in the early afternoons around our house. So that is from Young Living. And then last but not least, speaking of tea time, Isabella and I went to Salvation Army and Goodwill and a little um, thrift store, uh, a local thrift store as well, um, for to be on the hunt for a fall tea set for our poetry tea time as well as we found a Christmas tea set. So here's the Christmas set. We got 10 of these sets. Um, they were 99 cents for each piece, but then it was like a super Saturday at Salvation Army, so they ended up being 50 cents each, so we paid $10 for a set of 10 of these. And then she also picked out this little apple set as our fall set. So our fall set broke when we were putting it away last fall, and then we don't have an official Christmas tea set. Um, so that worked out well, but mostly we went looking for this set for fall. I thought it would be fun for she and I to have the memory of picking out a unique set for our house. We have a like floral set from Amazon that we use most of the time, but I wanted to have a couple of fun, you know, more tea sets to add to our collection for different poetry tea times because poetry tea time, I feel like I dropped the ball in it last year because we had a rough school year last year. And so I just wanted to like add a little bit of life into our poetry tea times this year. So a nice new set of pretty teacups was just what the doctor ordered. So that is my back to school haul and a little unconventional, I know, but homeschooling is, <laughs> doesn't follow a script. So those are the things I got for to refresh our home and our homeschool for back to school. Let me know in the comments down below what some of your back to school must haves are when you are school supply shopping and I will see you guys soon. Bye guys.